Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe and today I am installing a lace front wig that I got from Amazon and also please ignore my ashy finger. My hand is so ashy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get into this install. As you can see, I am spraying the Gotta Be spray and also blow drying it to make sure that it is dry. After the cap is dry, I am going to sew down between the middle of her head instead of the back of the cap. Sewing the wig cap down, I'm going to cut off all the excess cap and make sure that I do not cut my client's skin. After cutting off all the excess cap, I'm going to put on a foundation that matches her skin color, as you can see. Make sure you clean that hairline very well with your alcohol. It doesn't matter if the alcohol is 70% or 91%. Make sure it is clean. Like super clean and before you even put the glue on that person's hairline make sure you measure the wig to make sure it is portioned correctly After measuring the wig and making sure that it fits correctly, you may start applying your glue, whatever glue you decide to use. But today I am using the Bold Hold Active Glue and I always put four layers if my client is a person who sweats a lot or if they are a person who barely sweats, I'll put probably two or three layers. that you apply of the lace glue make sure you apply a thin layer so it may dry quickly and clearly because if that glue is not dry you will see a white residue under that wig lace
applying as many layers that you decide to apply make sure you use a rat tail comb to press down the lace to your scalp so as the heat that comes from the blow dryer it melts that lace to your scalp Cutting the lace excess lace off, make sure you do not cut this lace straight like a straight line. Make sure you cut in zigzag motions. And whatever lace that was not stuck to the client's scalp, make sure you go back and lift it up and use like your rat tail comb and put a little bit of glue. When you're done applying the lace glue, make sure you wrap the hair like down with a hair wrap or a scarf that you may have and make sure you put the client under a hair blow dryer or a you, you can use your hand blow dryer. So today my client wanted a side part as you can see and I'm also using the She Is Balm wax stick and also the Nairobi foam wrap to basically lay down all the flyaways and make sure that it is flat and silky, okay?
after hot combing the part and hot combing everywhere around her hairline to make sure that everything is smooth I will wrap her hair again and make sure I style it because she wanted a soft curl look I did not know where my hair curler was, so today I'm using my babyless flat iron to curl up her hair. So far, this lace frontal wig is really good it's actually a 360 lace front wig and it's a six no not 16 but 18 inch lace front wig and also the seller name is vanel on amazon and so far it is really good it's super soft it feels like the lace was very manageable baby get into this hair oh my goodness get into this hair look at the baby hair look at it doesn't it match her skin color like get into this lace this is a regular swiss lace because nowadays everyone is cr going crazy about this hd lace that basically not everyone could afford But once again, don't forget to like and subscribe my video. Let me know how you like this video. If you would like to see a different hairstyle, if you would like to see more colors, or if you would like to basically see just a different hairstyle, basically.